Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled galaxies in the river. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see a galaxy and in fact, more than one galaxy scattered around the image. One very prominent galaxy, a couple others that are relatively large and prominent. But even if you look around the background, you can see dozens and dozens of other small, slightly extended objects that are also more distant galaxies well beyond the one we are primarily looking at here. Now, how do we tell the difference between a star and a galaxy? Well, stars are a point of light and they will give a diffraction pattern for the tel through the telescope. So all of those with the spiky diffraction pattern going through them are stars. The objects that are similar to those but don't have that pattern and may so show some kind of spiral structure or other extended structure are galaxies. So that is one quick way to be able to distinguish these. Now, how do we have galaxies in the river? Well, the river is actually the constellation of Eridanus, which is the river. And here we see a spiral galaxy located in that constellation, which is known as NGC 1532. We note the distortion in this galaxy. Now galaxies become distorted when another galaxy passes close to them and its gravitational field will tug at the stars and distort the stars and gas and dust within the galaxy. So it'll pull it into more unusual patterns than the typical spiral structures that we are used to looking at for a galaxy like this. So often when we see the distortions that is a sign either of a galaxy currently interacting with it such as we see the smaller galaxy just up above into the middle of this galaxy that is likely currently interacting with that. Now it can also be include larger galaxies or could include a galaxy that is no longer visible that may have passed through this area distorting the galaxy and not yet had time to settle back down. Now when two galaxies do interact they often eventually will merge together and that is likely what will happen here. This smaller galaxy will eventually become part of the larger galaxy. And this is part of what we sometimes call galactic cannibalism where one galaxy will consume another making it a part of the larger galaxy. And this is how galaxies have grown over time. Early after the Big Bang, we didn't have the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. Galaxies were much smaller and have grown over the billions of years through collisions and the cannibalism that we see to make the much larger galaxies that we are used to seeing today. So that was our picture of the day for July 27th of 2023. It was titled Galaxies in the River. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.